hi everyone so in this video we will see how you can share data between sibling components in react so uh, here we have to, uh, we have a parent component that is app.js so, and we have uh, two child component that is component a and component b and these are two sibling components so now suppose we want to uh, pass data we, want, we have some data in component a and we want to pass it to component b so how to do that so to do this uh, we can use redux or you can use context api as well that will also work but using redux but this is actually a simple use case so you just want to uh, you know pass the data from component a to component b so in this case uh, if you want to use redux or context api then you have to write a lot of boilerplate code so if you want to avoid that then there is a simple technique called lifting up the state so using that also you can pass the data from component a to component b so what lifting up state means is that we lift up the state that means we store the state in such a component in such a component which is uh, which is directly accessible by both of these okay so in this case we lift up the state to the higher level or uh, to the app.js app component and from uh, that like if we store the state of the component a in comp uh, in the app component then component b can access the state from that so that is what lifting up state means so now let's uh, write the code and see how we can implement in okay so i have uh, created a new react application using create react app and this is what we got and i have started the server on the right side so first of all what i will do is that i will remove all the boilerplate code from the app.js so we have some boilerplate code there so we'll just let me just remove that and let me print hello world and if we save that yeah so right side on the right side you can see hello world printed okay so first of all what i will do is that i will create uh, two components as component a and component b and i will import them as well here in the app.js app .js file Okay, yeah, so we can see, uh, you know, both of them is, uh, so yeah, we can see both of these components are being rendered in the app.js file and we can see them in the browser. Okay, so now inside the component A, I will uh, create a set. I will give it a name, suppose name and set name. and give an initial value as suppose john okay so it says okay react not okay so what i will do is that i will uh, create a fragment here because we want to uh, return multiple elements so yeah, this is component a so i will create a button so let me print the initial value of the name so h create is for tag there and name is name okay. so it will print the initial value of the name and let me create an hr tag as well so that you can understand okay so now we'll create a button and that button will uh, update the state basically and i'll just define the handle click function here and basically i will create a function that will toggle between two names so i will say if the name uh, is zone then i will change the name to say alan or else set name as suppose John okay so I have uh, so when we 
click on that okay so uh, when you click on that button it is not working that is because we have not called that function okay yeah now it should work yeah now it is working so the name is being changed between john and alan but the thing is suppose yeah so this is working fine but let's take a scenario suppose yeah so i want this name this state i want this state to be shared with component b as well okay so when we are clicking this name button the name is being updated and i want this updated name to be uh, passed in the component b as well so how can we do that so to do that we can use the lifting up state so what does it mean is that we will we have this state so we will uh, up, we will move this state from component a to the parent component that means app.js and from the app.js we will pass that state to the component b so let's see how we can do that so what we will do is that i will just copy this piece of code and paste it here in the app.js okay so it's it react is now defined import react from react okay so yeah so what we have done is that we have moved that state in the parent component and now what we will do is that so we have you can see we have a handle click uh, method so now we'll, what we will do is that we will pass this state and the handle click as a props to the component a so we'll just pass them as a prop so name is equal to say name and then handle click is equal to handle click okay. and now inside the app dot uh, inside the component a we will uh, import those props so you can directly import them name and handle click and now we will uh, okay yeah so now you can see so here so name is name and this name value let me remove that first so this name value uh, this name thing this is coming from the prop and this this handle click also coming from the prop so now let's see uh, if we click that uh, button so yeah so you can see it is working so what it is doing is that so just to uh, like summarize what we have done so we have stored the state to the app file the app just js that is the parent file and from there we are passing the name and the handle click function as a prop to the component a and then we are just calling them here so this is what we are doing so now what we can do that since we have stored the state in the parent component now you can easily share that state with the component b so in the component b also i can uh, uh, use that state and i will just write the code here okay okay yeah so it is saying unexpected okay so we have not passed that name actually so in the component b also we have to pass that name so let me pass that and uh, and let me import that as well so you have to uh, inside that you can import the props yeah so remove that thing yeah okay so this is component b so i'll just write component b okay fine so you can see in the component b we have uh, imported that prop that is the name and we are displaying that here now what we will do is that you know if and if we update so you can see like if uh, like when we are clicking the toggle name button then it is updating both the name so how it is working is that when we are clicking on the toggle name that is actually updating the state in the parent component that means app.js and when the app.js uh, the name is updated that means the state is updated that means the app.js file will re-render and you know that when the parent component re-renders then all of its style also gets re-rendered that means that component a and component b both of them will be re-rendered and we are passing the updated value of the name and hence the updated value is printed here so that is actually a technique so that is how you can you know pass data between uh, sibling components using uh, lifting up the state so just know that lifting up state means we are lifting up the state from child to parent component or in such a component uh, which can be directly accessible by the siblings so in this case uh, 
the app.js that can be directly accessible by component A and component B. So this is how you can do the you know lifting up state and this is how you can easily you know share data across uh, sibling components. So this is the easiest approach. So as I said that this is the e easiest approach and other than that if you want to use Redux or context API to share the data between sibling components that is also fine but for that you have to write a lot of boilerplate code. So yeah, I think that is it for this video. If you have some, uh, if you have some doubts or if you have some suggestions, then you can definitely uh, put them in the comment box. I will definitely uh, reply you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.